Welcome to CTN Videos. Today, we will show you how to use Microsoft Word 2010 more efficiently with these simple tips and tricks. Let's begin. If you have formatted some text and do not like the font, you can easily change the font back to default. Let's say you are typing, hello, the sky is cloudy today. You decide to make this bold, italicize it, underline it, change its color to red, and change the, the, the font to Arial. You do not like how this looks. All you must do is select the text which you wish to change and then push control space on your keyboard at the same time. Or you can click on clear formatting on your ribbon. Both of these features will work. What if you are working on two separate documents and wish to compare them? You can do this easily as well. Simply click the view menu on your ribbon, then click on view side by side under the windows section. Here are your two documents. You can turn off synchronous scrolling on or off. To go back to the normal view, click on view side by side again. Another great trick is making and customizing tabs on the ribbon. You can do this by right-clicking on the ribbon. Next, select Customize the Ribbon. After you do this, simply click New Tab. You can rename your new tab, which I will name Common Functions. You can also make new groups. You can name those groups basic functions and other functions. You can also choose a symbol to go next to your group. To add tools or functions to your group, Simply click, click on the arrow above commands and click on all commands. Now, let's say I want to add font to it. I'll go down to font, click font color, add. I can easily, easily remove this by clicking remove. I can also remove the whole, the whole tab by clicking remove after I selected the tab. Next, click OK. Your tab should appear on the ribbon. The last tip we are going to reveal today is how to make and use macros. Macros are simple programs used to easily change text. Let's see that we commonly change Let's say that we commonly change our text to bold, italicized, red, and aerial, and we, and we wish to do this with the click of a, of a button from now on. Here's how we do it. Let's say we write, sun is shining. To begin our macro, go to your developer developer tab and click record macro. Or go to the view tab and click on the small arrow under macros and then click record macro. Once you click on it, this screen should pop up. Name your macros, your macro. 
Then type in your description. Next, click on the button. Then select your macro and click add. You can also add this. You can add you are adding this to above the ribbon. Then click OK. Now this symbol should appear next to your mouse, which means the macro is is being recorded. So let's go, let's highlight all the text. Go home. Change the text to Arial. Make it red. Bold it, italicize it, and underline it. Then hit stop recording. Okay, so let's say you have this written. Hello, the, the sky is cloudy today. The sun, sh sun is shining now. All you have to do is click this and it will change it to the font that you selected. Thank you for watching CTN videos. Please visit our website for more tutorials, videos, reviews, news, and rumors on technology.